Hey everyone, this is Nathan. Uh, thanks again for checking out my videos. Uh, this is the second of a series of videos that I'll be publishing. Um, I've gotten really good feedback from all of you uh, when I published my first one and I really want to do this more often and I have the commitment and I'll do it. I know it's going to be helpful for you guys so I will continue to do so. Uh, this week I would like to talk to you about variance analysis. Um, when I published uh, a blog post a couple weeks ago I've asked what topics were the most um, difficult for you guys and I got some good feedback on with some comments and some emails and pretty much everybody asked me to uh, do videos on variance analysis so that's what we are going to do today alright so this is one of them so let's get to it Kem King uses a standard costing system in the manufacture of its single product the 35,000 units of raw material in inventory were purchased for $105,000 and two units of raw material are required to produce one unit of final product. In November, the company produced 12,000 units of product. The standard cost for material allowed for the output was $60,000 and there was an, an unfavorable quantity variance of $2,500. All right, and the question is, the units of material used to produce November output totaled. So this is asking, asking us for the number of units uh, uh, used to produce the output for the month. So in this case, we need to use the variance, uh, the material variance formula. And that is actual quantity minus standard quantity times standard price and that equals the variance okay something to point out is um, the material variance uh, will always be unfavorable if it's a positive number okay if it's a negative number the material variance will always be um, favorable okay so that's a rule of thumb don't forget that that's very important okay Now the standard quantity, and to calculate that, we take the number of units produced, which is 12,000 units, and we divide that, actually we multiply it by the number of raw material in units that we need, and that's two per un, uh, unit produced. So that gives us 24,000 uh, raw units, okay? The standard price, uh, we take the $60,000 material cost allowed and we divide that by the number of uh, uh, raw material in units that we used okay and that gives us 250 as the standard price per each uh, raw material unit alright now the variance is a, it's given and that's 2500 and now all we have to do is rewrite the formula and plug in the numbers so actual quantity minus 24,000 times 250 for the standard price equals 2,500 now it's just a matter of calculating this so we take um, actual quantity times 250 that gives us 250 AQ okay so then all we're gonna do is just write it out 250 AQ minus 24,000 times 250 that's 60,000 equals 2,500 now we take uh, 250 AQ Okay, and we're going to move the 60,000 to the other side of the equal sign, so it becomes a positive, and that's 60,000 plus 2,500, that is 62,500, all right? So now actual quantity is equals to 62,000 
500 and we're going to bring over the 250 from the other side okay and dividing that number 62,500 by 250 gives us gives us 25,000 units so that's the actual quantity okay so a would be our answer all right so that was the problem and showed you how to solve it so i hope that was very helpful and there are a lot more videos on various analysis coming soon okay so this is the first one like i said in the beginning from many so uh, come back to the site often and you'll be seeing new videos every week all right uh, before i let you go today i'd like to go and jump real quick over to the uh, cma coach study guide page i'm sure many of you have seen this page um, here is where I uh, provide a study guide that will definitely help, I think, all CMA candidates in preparing for the CMA exam. I teach all the, the tips, all the strategies, everything that I've done to pass the exam, the part one and part two, on my first try. And I studied three months for each part, and that's all it took. As you can see, the global pass rate on the CMA exam is just 35%. It's incredibly low. And there's a reason for that. It's because the exam is tough. Okay, But if you have the right strategies and you learn the right techniques, you will be able to pass the exam just like I did. There's no secret or, or magic. I can, I'll, I'm willing to teach you everything that I did. And I know that you, it will help you because it has helped others. All right, so this study guide is about 70 plus pages long, has a lot of great information, a very solid study plan, okay? It's a comprehensive study plan, a lot more than what you get when you sign up um, to the website, all right? And also would like to point out the new uh, coaching packages that I've put together at the request of many of you. So I have one that starts you off with a 30 minute coaching call with me and I'll walk you through everything that you need to do um, to make the most of the study guide, uh, what review course would be the best for you, and also uh, what habits you need to develop to study effectively and pass the exam. Uh, for some, that may not be enough, so I offer a third package, which is um, actually a second coaching package, which is a 30-minute coaching call with me every week for 12 weeks. And I'll be there with you every week. We'll get on Skype and I will hold you accountable for your goals and we'll set goals together. And if you have any questions about the exam, any topics, I'll be there to help you out. Okay? So at the request of many of you, I put these coaching packages together. I hope that uh, you take advantage of them because, like I said, this exam is very expensive and the time you spend is also um, adds up really fast. All right? So that's pretty much it. Until our next video, uh, best of luck. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. All right, bye.